Every spring, in streams and estuaries in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, small groups of fishers fan out across the region to harvest one of the richest catches per kilogram in the world, baby eels, also known as elvers. A kilogram of elvers can sell for as much as $4,500. Why is the price so high? Well, it's virtually impossible to breed eels in captivity, and so markets in Asia, where eel meat is a popular menu item, need to rely on the elver fisheries in North America, and will pay top dollar. With only a limited catch available each year, paired with high demand and market price, there's a thriving black market fueled by poachers, which threatens both the livelihood of the licensed fishers and the very existence of the species. There's a black market for a lot of things, and Elvers being one of them. It's such a huge money market that it can draw a criminal aspect into it. They just have a total disregard to conservation, and they have a total disregard to um, doing the right thing. And because of all this, the fishery is one of the world's most strictly regulated. The Wagoma First Nation in Cape Breton have a license for fishing elvers, which brings crucial income into their community. Most of our uh, revenue, or well, quite a bit of it, goes through fisheries, and our community depends on the, the money to support itself, sustain itself. So I got involved with the elver fishery to help our people. In April 2017, the Wagoma First Nation saw the fishery's dark side when a man named Curtis Kiley and an associate broke into the Wagoma's holding facility and stole 20 kilograms of elvers. Fortunately, the pair were already under surveillance by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and were caught. Just over a year later, the DFO had another possible elver crime to investigate, a big one. A pair of licensed fishers had received emails from someone offering to sell 100 kilograms of baby eels at way below market price. With the fishery at risk, they alerted the DFO immediately. A tip like this doesn't come along every day. In order to break up the elver trafficking ring, officers would have to stop the person taking hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of elvers out of the river. But to put them away, the DFO would need to catch them in the act. 